Hi, everybody. Welcome back, and we're back to the Polo Grounds with you for the Cubs and the Giants. Playing here because the Giants are at 14-6, and six, three games behind the Pirates, although it's now three and a half as the Pirates just won today. Gene Mock uh, leads off for the Cubs, hits a ground ball over to Lork at second base. He makes the play throw to first for the out, one away, and here is Hank Edwards up against Sheldon Jones. One and one now the count on Edwards. Edwards only one at bat so far this season, and uh, Ed- Edwards fouls one back and takes a ball two and two the count. And uh, there's another ball to him. Full count now on Hank. And he hits one deep down the right field line. That is gone for a home run. Hank Edwards getting the nod for me to hit uh, second uh, in the second position here today. And he hits a home run. And it's a one nothing game for the Cubs. Here is Phil Cavaretta. And uh, Cavaretta um, uh, fouls one off. 0-1 oh, the count. And, uh, man, I tell you, um, the uh, Cubs, maybe that's what they need to wake up. And there's a, a ground ball down the line, the first baseline, into right field for a hit, and that's a double for Cabaret. And here comes Andy Pafko. Pafko hitting only 206, but a good on-base percentage and a fairly good slugging percentage. 2-0 and the count to him, and he hits one into right field for a hit. Cabaret is going to go around to score. Pafko goes over to second base, but we're going to throw home. And uh, he's called safe. Pafco takes the uh, extra base. It's 2 nothing Cubs, runner on second base with only one out. There's a ground ball down to third base. Sid Gordon has it, throws to first for the out, keeps Pafco at second. Two away, here's Frankie Gustin who takes a strike. And there's one hit over to Marshall in right field, and he uh, catches that one for the out. We go to the bottom of the first inning. Here is Willard, Willard Marshall. Takes a ball, hitting 354, and there's a strike to him, one and one the count. And uh, there's one hit back to Chipman, the picture, who throws over to first base. One away. Here's Sid Gordon, who takes a ball. These Giants can hit it, I'll tell you that. And he hits one over to uh, Chipman again, who throws to first base for the out. Two away. Here's Bill Rigney, who uh, takes a strike. And a ball. One and one the count now on him. And there's one outside for ball two. And there's the uh, chopper over to Smalley at third base. Throws to first for the out. We go to the top of the second. Bob Sheffing up there now takes a ball. And another ball, 2-0 oh, now the count on the uh, Chicago catcher. 3-0 and oh now as Sheldon Jones misses again. There's a strike, and it's 3-1. and one. There's a swing and a miss. Full count now on uh, Sheffing, and he loses them. Sheldon Jones gives up the walk, and that brings up Roy Smalley with a runner on first base, and uh, Smalley takes a strike and a ball. 1-1 one one the count now on Roy. And he chops that one up the middle, and uh, Rigney, the shortstop, able to get to that one, only play his first base, and he throws his man out, but Sheffing moves up to second. One out, and here's Bob Chipman, who takes a strike. And uh, he fouls one over to the left side. Gordon is able to go get that one before it gets into the stands. Two away, and here's Gene Mock, who lines that one over to Lork, who knocks it down, throws to first base for the out. We go to the bottom of the second inning. Here's Walker Cooper, and he takes a strike. And uh, fouls one back. Oh, and two now the count on Cooper. And there is a change up low. One and two, now the count on Cooper. And uh, there is a foul ball over to the left side. Gustine has it for the out. One away. Whitey Lockman now takes the ball. One and oh, the count. And there's one in the dirt. Two and oh now. And he fouls one back. It's two and one, now the count on Whitey Lockman. There's a ball three. And there's one way outside for ball four. And here comes Johnny Mize. Potential tying run. No hits for the Giants yet, but they have a runner on first base. Bottom of the second inning, down two nothing. Two and oh, the count on Mize. And he fouls one back. It's two and one. Two and two now as he swings and misses that fastball. And there's a fly ball over to right field. Edwards has it for the out two away. And here's Bobby Thompson. Thompson not hitting so well, which is how he got all the way down to the end of this order. And uh, there's a single that goes off the glove of Chipman and into center field. And uh, we are going to have Lockman go for third. There's the row, the throw rather from Pafco. And that one goes into the runner. And uh, he is safe. Runners on first and third now with two outs, and here's Jack Lork, and uh, there's a ground ball over to Gene Mock, who makes the play, throws over to first, but his throw is late. Lork beats it, and it's a 2-1 to one ball game just like that. That'll bring up Jones with two outs. He's not going to bunt. Hits one deep to left field, and Lowry has it for the out. We go to the top of the third inning, and here's Hank Edwards. There's a uh, foul ball by Edwards, 0-1 the count, and there's a ball high, 1-1 one one now. And uh, there's a swing and a miss. One and two now the count on Edwards. And there's a uh, ground ball uh, through the right side. And that's another hit for Edwards, who's two for two today. Here's Phil Cavaretta. And he takes a ball from Jones. And there's a strike. Swings and a misses of that one. One and one the count. And there's one high and outside. It's two and one. And uh, there's a little ground ball over to Lork at second base. He picks that one up, throws to first for the out. Edwards moves over to second. Here's Andy Pafko. Takes a strike. And uh, there's a foul over to the right side, out of play, 0-2 oh, the count. There's a chopper towards third, foul. And there's a swing and a miss by Pafko, and he's gone. And here comes Penis Lowry. The strike in there to Lowry, 0-1 oh, the count on him. 
There's a ground ball over to Lork at second base. He makes the play and goes to first base for the out. We go to the bottom of the third inning, and here comes Willard Marshall, who takes the ball and then hits uh, one over to the left side for a base hit. Kind of an excuse me swing there by Marshall, and here comes Sid Gordon. We're going to run. Let's see what happens. Marshall breaks for second base, but that's a foul over to the left side. And uh, Gordon hits one deep to the left field corner, but just foul 0-2 oh, the count now on Sid. Fouls another one back and uh, still is 0-2. Oh, there's a ball to him, 1-2 and two now the count. And there's a curveball outside, it's 2-2. Two and two. And there's one grounded over first base down the right field line, and that's a fair ball. Here comes Marshall, he's going to try to score, and he is safe at the plate on that double by Sid Gordon, and it's a 2-2 ball game, and here comes Bill Rigney. These Giants are pit- hitting very, very well, but Rigney hits a, a ground ball over to Gustine at third base, who makes the play, throws the first for the out, and that freezes Gordon. One away now for Walker Cooper. Cooper takes the strike, Owen won the count on him. And there's a pitch inside that misses. It's one and one. There's one hit to the right side, and that's a base hit, and that will score Gordon without a throw. And it's three to two, New York. And here comes Whitey Lockman. Lockman fouls one back to the backstop. Oh, and won the count on him. And there's one hit into right field, and that's a base hit. And that allows Cooper to go all the way over to third base. The catcher is really lugging it all the way out there. And boy, uh, Bob Chipman not pitching so well here. And here comes Johnny Mize. Runners in first and third, and uh, Mize takes a strike and uh, swings and misses at one. It's 0 and 2. There's a ball off the play. 1 and 2, the count now on Johnny. There's a little pop up over the Gene Mock, the second baseman, has it for the out, and that means that there are two away. And there's Bobby Thompson, who takes the ball up and in. And uh, the next pitch misses, misses as well, uh, 2 and 0. Oh. There's one in at the knees, 2 and 1, the count now. And there's a little ground ball over to third base. Gustine has it, and he throws over to uh, uh, Mock at second base for the force out. We go to the top of the fourth inning, and it's a 3-2 ball game for the Giants. Here's Frankie Gustine, who takes a strike, and then a ball. 1-1 one one the count on Gustine. And uh, there's one foul just down the left side. 1-2, and two, now 2-2 two and two the count. Full count now on Frankie, and uh, he swings and misses a ball four and strikes out. One out, and here's Bob Sheffing. He hits a little ground ball over to a Lork, the second baseman. He throws the first for the out. Two away, here's Roy Smalley, who swings and misses for strike one. And takes a ball, 1-1 one one the count now on him. There's a swing and a miss at another strike. It's one and two, and there's a ball low, two and two the count. And the uh, count remains two and two, and there's one below the knees, but uh, Roy swings and misses at that one and strikes out. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning, and here is Jack Lork. Lork takes a ball and uh, swings and misses at one. One and one the count now, and it's two and one as Chapman missed. There's a, a ground ball over to Gustina, third base. Throws to first for the out, one away, and here is Jones who takes one high and inside, one and oh, and there's a swing and a miss, one and one the count now. And one and two is there's another strike to him. And then there's a ground ball over to Smalley at short, makes the play at first, two away. And here's Willard Marshall, who hits another one over to Smalley, who makes the play to first. We go to the top of the fifth inning, and here's Bob Chipman, the pitcher for the Cubs. And he uh, fouls two off, 0 oh, and 2 the count now on him. And there's strike three looking. Strike on number four for Jones. Here comes Gene Mock, who takes a strike. And there's a bouncer over to Johnny Mize at first base, who does it himself, two away. And here's Hank Edwards. Edwards hits one over to Mize, who grabs that one, flips it over to Jones, covering the bag, and we go to the bottom of the fifth inning, and here is Sid Gordon. Gordon takes a ball inside and uh, swings and fouls one back. One and one the count now on Sid. And there's a strike into the knees, one and two, and there's a swing and a miss at that one, and down he goes, and that'll bring up Bill Rigney. There's a ball in there to Bill. And there's a ground ball over towards the hole on the left side, but Smalley able to go down, get that one, and throw over to first for the out two away, and here comes Walker Cooper. There's a ball high to Cooper, 1-0 and the count, and there's one bouncing foul, 1-1. One one. The changeup in there for a strike is 1-2, and two. and there's a ground ball over to Smalley, the shortstop who makes the play and throws the first for the out. Go to the top of the six. We're moving pretty quickly, and here is uh, Cavaretta, who has a 1-1 one and one count on him. 2-1 and one as he takes the ball, and there's one in the outside corner for a strike. It's 2-2. Two and two. Count remains 2-2. Two and two. And there's a line drive by Mize into right field, and that's a base hit for Cavaretta, and that'll bring up Andy Pafko. And he hits a little ground ball over to Gordon at third base, who goes over to Lork for one, but they can't complete the double play. Pafko a little bit too fast for that one out here, and here's Pinas Lowry. Takes a strike, and then uh, there is a ground ball over to Lork with Pafko moving. His only play is at first base, two outs with Pafko on second. Here's Frankie Gustine, and there's a pop-up that Cooper can't get to. Own one the count. One and one now on Gustine. There's a little pop-up over to uh, shallow center field. Bobby Thompson runs over and grabs that one. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Here is Whitey Lockman, and he promptly hits one over Roy Smalley's head in uh, left field for a base hit. That'll bring up Johnny Mize, runner on first base. Let's remove these runners. And uh, there is the hit-and-run ground ball over to Gustine, the third baseman. He makes the play at first base for the out, but Lockman moves up, and here comes Bobby Thompson. There's a strike in there to Bobby Thompson. Owen won the count on him. 
And uh, there's a ball, one and one now the count, two and one now. And there's one wide at the plate, and uh, it's a three and one count, and that's beneath the knees, and Thompson gets the walk, and that'll bring up Jack Lork with runners on first and second. Two very good running uh, uh, base runners, and there's a ground ball over to uh, Smalley. That's right, he flips over to Mock for one, but they can't get Lork at first for the double play. That'll bring up Jones with runners on first and third and two outs, and uh, there's a swing and a miss, and uh, we're going to let Lockman stay at third, and Lork is thrown out trying to uh, steal by uh, the uh, catcher, Sheffing, who uh, throws down to Mock, who makes the play, and that's the end of that inning. We go to the top of the seventh. Still a one-run lead for the Giants as they were unable to uh, push one in. Here's Bob Sheffing, who fouls one back and then hits one over to Lockman in left field for the first out, and now comes Roy Smalley. There's a foul back. Oh, and one the count. One and one now on Smalley. And uh, two and one now. And there's a ground ball down to Mize at first base, and it goes right through his legs, and that's going to be uh, first on an air there for uh, the uh, uh, for uh, Roy Smalley. And this just very well might be exactly what the doctor ordered for the Cubs here. Top of the seventh inning, they're only down by a run, and that might be what they needed. We'll see what happens in this one. And uh, Roy Smalley now the runner on at first base, and uh, the uh, next batter up here is uh, the pitcher, Chipman. And you better believe he's going to bunt. In fact, we are going to uh, play, I think, into the corners. Now they've got Harry Walker in there now, so we're going to play this uh, infield back. Harry Walker, the uh, pinch hitter, and he takes a strike. There's a fly ball down the left field line, and Lockman has it for the out, one away. And here comes Gene Mock, who takes uh, one high, 1-0 one oh the count, and uh, breaks his bat on that one, 1-1. One and, one. and there's ball two high and outside. It's 2-1 two now. 2-2 two two is uh, that one got inside on him, and that missed way outside. Full count now on Gene. And there's ball four, and that means that the uh, Cubs have something going here. Runners on first and second with one out here in the uh, – Top of the seventh inning, uh, down three to two. Um, this uh, revamped lineup for the uh, Cubs has worked out pretty well so far today. And uh, we'll see if this one works um, as this game progresses. Uh, you never know. Um, but uh, I tell you, rearranging players a little bit and trying to use uh, OPS has been kind of the right idea. Hank Edwards now, he hits a ground ball down to Lork. Lork, the uh, second baseman, makes the play, throws the first for the out, and that does it. We go to the bottom of the seventh, and here's Sheldon Jones. Jones stays in this ball game, fouls one back, 0-1 oh, the count on him, and he'll face Cal McLish. Swings and misses at that one, 0-2, oh, and, and then fouls one back, still 0-2. Oh, and, and, man, he swings and misses at that one, and that's a strikeout, and here comes Willard Marshall. Marshall takes the ball, 1-0 oh, the count, 2-0 and oh now. And there's a slider in there for a strike, it's 2-1. and one. Low and outside for ball 3-3-1, three, three and one, now the count on Marshall, and there's a ground ball over to Gustine. Throws over to first base, but uh, Willard Marshall is in there with a base hit, and that might break this game open. Let's see what happens. Sid Gordon up there now, and Marshall going for second base. That's fouled back, fouled back. 0 and 1 the count, and there's one upstairs, 1 and 1. 2 and 1 now the count on Gordon, and there's a breaking wall that goes wide. 3 and 1 is the count. Still 3 and 1. And there's strike 2 called on Gordon, who's uh, floored by that one being called a strike. And there's a backdoor breaking ball for strike three as uh, McLish picks up his second strike out of the inning. Here comes Bill Rigney. And uh, Rigney takes the ball. And there's a good sinker in there, too. And one and one the count. Throw over to first base, but nothing doing. We're not sending the runner. Two and one now the count on Bill. There's a fly ball over to Pafco in center field. He has it for the out. We go to the top of the eighth inning. And here is Phil Cavaretta who takes the ball. One and oh the count now on Phil. There's another one outside, two and O's the count, and there's one that misses low, three and O, and that's low and away for ball four. Jones giving up a walk and getting himself into trouble again. He got himself into trouble there in that seventh inning and was uh, bailed out, fortunately, by the Cubs being a little over-anxious, and uh, he's got to throw strikes. The last thing you want to see in this situation is your pitcher stop throwing strikes and start walking uh, the uh, whole neighborhood. That's not what you want. Here's Andy Pafko running on first base for the Cubs. And there's a high fly ball over to Marshall in right field, and he makes the uh, catch for the out. Cavaretta was uh, moving with the play and had to go back. Um, here's Penis Lowry, and he hits another one over to right field to Marshall, and that's two away, and here's Frankie Gustin. There's a swing and a miss by Gustin, 0-1 oh, the count. There's a little number foul, 0-2, oh, and, and there's a ball to him. It's 1-2 and two now, and uh, it remains 1-2 and two, the count. There's a little line drive between third and short, and that's going to be a base hit, and uh, that moves Cavaretta up to second base. So the Cubs have the potential tying and the potential go-ahead runs on base. Here is Bob Sheffing, the uh, catcher. Sheffing 0 for 2 today, um, and uh, this is a real um, 
uh, key situation again in this ball game. This is the second inning in a row in which the Cubs have threatened like this. And uh, let's see if they can do it or not. Sheffing hitting 167, which makes you wonder why I'm even playing him. And there's a strike in there to Bob. Owen won the count. And uh, that one's inside one and one now. That's foul back. One and two is the count. Two and two is that one's wide. And that misses inside. Full count now on Sheffing. And there's a little pop fly over to Rigney, the shortstop, and he's got it. And we go to the bottom of the eighth inning, still 3-2 to two Giants. Here's Walker Cooper now. Takes the strike. 0-1 oh, the count on Cooper. And there's one bounce in the dirt. It's 1-1. One and, one. and there's one pulled down to the left side. Small, he has it. The shortstop throws to first for the out. One away. Here's Whitey Lockman. And uh, McLish pops him up. That's the fly ball over to Edwards in right field for the second out. Here's Johnny Mize. And there's a breaking ball in the dirt for a ball. 1-0 and oh, the count. And there's a ground ball over to Gustine. Uh, that uh, third base makes the play and goes to first with it. We'll go to the top of the ninth inning. Here's Roy Smalley. Smalley reached once on an error, and he fouls one back. Owen won the count, and now he is um, he is hit by the pitch, and he has thoughts about uh, charging the mound, and instead uh, he decides to go take his base as he's calmed down there by Walker Cooper. And, uh, man, oh, man, the Cubs have had so many chances in this ballgame to uh, score. Smalley now here is the runner on at first base with nobody out in the top of the ninth inning. Um, the uh, question is, uh, do we stay with uh, Jones or go with somebody else? I'm going to stay with my man. Smokey Burgess is going to be the pinch hitter for Chicago here in the top of the ninth. He takes a ball. Ball two is in there as that one was inside. And uh, there's a uh, fly ball over to Thompson, and it's deep in the right field. And Bobby runs back on that one, and he makes the uh, absolutely spectacular catch. And uh, Smalley is unable to move up on that one, and that's the first out. And uh, so that doesn't look so good here for the pitcher, who's uh, kind of um, heavily relying on his defenders. One away here in the uh, top of the ninth inning, and uh, here is uh, Gene Mock. And there's one up and into Mock, one to know the count. And there's another one inside on him, 2-0. and oh. And there's one foul back. It's a 2-1 and one count. There's a ground ball over to Lork, and he grabs it a second, flips over to Rigney for one, on to first for the double play, and that is the way that this ball game is going to end, and uh, the Cubs have had multiple chances to go ahead in this one. The Ch- Cubs had runners on in the top of the seventh, in the top of the eighth, and in the top of the ninth inning. They had the top of the lineup coming up here in the uh, top of the ninth inning with the runner on first base, and they just were not able to get it done, and that's going to be the end of this one for them. The Giants um, continue their winning ways. They win this game with a uh, 3-2 to two margin of victory, and that's the end of this one. Hope you've had a good uh, day, and hope you've enjoyed this, and I'll talk with you tomorrow. Bye-bye.